Hello, welcome back to our channel. It is Amanda. I'm standing today because I just don't feel like sitting. Hi, how are you? Welcome back. If you are not new, if you're new, welcome. Hit subscribe and stick around. Today I'm going to do a video about makeup that I would like to either finish or get really good use out of and like put I'm calling it like makeup I want to put a dent in in 2024. I would love for 2024 to be the year that I pan more makeup and finish things. I'm not a great project panner because I like using a lot of different things, but I think I'm at a point in my makeup collection where I, I just need to finish things, get more use out of things that aren't necessarily absolute favorites, but I still like enough to keep in my collection. This isn't a huge list of things because I'm, I'm trying to do baby steps and I feel like all of this is able to, to be accomplished, not necessarily finishing everything, but just really putting to the ultimate like makeup use test. So that's what we're gonna talk about. I just wanna show you those products. It's like an intro video and we'll see where it goes. So we have a few eyeliners. I love wearing colored eyeliner, so I have a lot of them and a few of them are several old. Some of them aren't even made anymore. Let's, let's use them, okay. So that being said, these first two are from Catrice. They're the liquid metal gel eye pencil. We have Ocean's Revolution, this really pretty navy blue, and then Dancing Green, kind of a teal. These are twist up eyeliners, so I guess I should twist them up and see how much is in here. I haven't done that yet. This one is a little bit shimmery, which I really like. Um, can you see the? Oh yeah. I really love these eyeliners. These are very old, but they're still very creamy. They don't make these anymore, which is unfortunate. That's how it goes. And then this one is sort of a metallic color. I think that both of these are beautiful and I've been holding on to them for a long time because I didn't want to like use them up and not have them. And that's ridiculous because they're going to go bad. So I need to use them. And then the other eyeliner is one from NYX. This is the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, definitely a turn on, waterproof, extreme shine eyeliner. Oh my gosh. I don't think they make these either. I think they call the new eyeliners epic wear or something like that this one is called golden olive and you can see it's you know half used it's a beautiful olive green that i wear often sticking with eye things we have this from flower beauty this is the warrior glitter shadow in camo another olive green camo green like my favorite of all the colors i don't really know what's going on with flower beauty i i think is their website back up yet? I haven't actually looked lately. This is a beautiful liquid eyeshadow and it's not very heavy. It doesn't feel bulky or cumbersome, but it's just something that I tend to ignore. So I'm trying to get better at all of that. Then I have three Super Shocks. This is one of my very first Super Shocks ever and I'm shocked that it hasn't dried out. This is called Chipper, this minty green. I mean, but it's still like squishy really pretty minty green. I don't wear this type of green that often, so that's another reason I kind of want to put it in here. If I decide that I don't love it, well, I'm not going to keep it. I'm, I'm not keeping things to finish things if I don't love them, but I have a lot of Super Shocks that I kind of, I just need to, to give them some love. This is so old, they didn't put like the finish on it, so I don't know, pearlized maybe. And then we have Kindness. This is a sheer opal. And I do have a little bit of pan in this one, but oh, really pretty, like blue red blue brown and then the last super shock is called forever bewitching this is from the I'm, not, I'm standing off center from the hocus pocus collaboration and this is considered an ultra glitter it's beautiful purple Ooh, i just put that over swatches that i wiped off which is really dumb but and again i'm not necessarily trying to finish these but i would like to I'd like to see what what's what continuous use could do for them you know i have two face products this is a mini rose powder blush from milani called romantic rose it is so tiny and cute but there's still a lot of product in here there's four grams of product in here the full size milani rose blushes have like 17 grams of product i don't know how anyone could ever finish those ever this is a color that i would wear every single day i love this type of blush color it's one of my absolute favorites so i think that i can can really enjoy using this. My issue with project painting is I'm, I end up neglecting a lot of other things. So that's why my goals for this are not necessarily to finish things, but just use a lot more 
you know? Then the other is one from Persona. This is the Super Blush in Georgia. The most perfect blush color. I could also wear this color every single day. I actually am surprised that there's not a dip in this because I do use this blush color all of the time. The last are all lip things. <laughs> and I know that I won't finish all of these. These are all very neutral. There's lip treatments, lip scrubs, all that type of thing. So the lippy scrubs are both from ColourPop. This is the Matcha Love Lippy Scrub. It's brand new. I was really good about using lip scrubs for a long time and then just sort of got out of it. I need to get back into using the lip scrubs. Well, this one says it's from 4th Ray, ColourPop. This is the Jasmine Tea Overnight Lip Mask. This is from the Avatar collection. This smells so good. I love the smell of jasmine tea. I think I said this was a scrub. It's a lip mask. Oh my gosh. I haven't been using this because I don't want to use it up. But that's dumb. Okay, we have some lip treatment type things. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm in Pinch Me. Um, and this is actually uh, more tinted than I remember. But really comfortable as far as I remember. I haven't worn that in a while. The lip treatment type thing is from Bare Minerals. This is the lip gloss balm in Clarity. Just a milky pink. Yeah, you can't really. Oh, it smells so good though. Tarte Mary Cuja Juicy Lip in Clear. This is just a clear lip balm. This one is brand new, so that will be a challenge. And then the Tarte Mary Cuja Juicy Lip in Hibiscus. Is this what I'm wearing today? No, I don't think so. Uh, this one isn't as messy as some of the other Juicy Lips, this this color specifically. So I like that because the others are a little bit messy. Okay, we have lip liners, and I don't know who I think I am, but I, I definitely will not finish all of these. Uh, this is one of the oldest ones. This is the Rouge Bunny Rouge Lip Pencil in Rolled. Do you guys? I mean, I don't know. If you've been watching YouTube for a very long time, I feel like I remember Kristen Game used to talk about this all the time. Uh, there was a lady I watched called Lisette's Beauty, I think. She loved this lip liner, and I do think this is a beautiful color. I'm just bad about wearing lip liner in general, but I mean, this color is beautiful. And this old freaking lip liner is still creamy, so I'm going to use it. We have an old Buxom Plump Line lip liner. They've discontinued this line, and now it's the Powerline lip liner. But this is in the color Hush Hush brand new. This can be used as a lip liner. I wear this, I'm gonna say 10 times out of 10, <laughs> as a full-on lip color. I think this is so beautiful. Oh, and I love the smell of a wooden pencil. This is the hush hush right there. And then two others that I just kind of want to use more. Old, old ColourPop lippy pencil in Lumiere. These are all the same color, basically. I mean, varying shades of the same color. This is Lumiere. And then we have uh, one from Kiko Milano. This is the Intensely Lavish Lip Pencil in shade number one. I, I feel like on the website when I bought it, it had a, a name and I don't remember what it is. This is very close to Lumiere. It's a little more pink. And then the rest are all lip colors. So this one, I'm actually not sure how long it will last because it is so old. It's It's gotta go bad soon, but this is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Frida. The Coffee Break with Danny collaboration from, I don't even know how many years, but mine still smells fine. All the bad lip products smell bad when they go off and this still smells brand new and it's still really creamy. Then we have the Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Lip Balm in Retro Rose. Another, I mean, these are all the same color. This is my favorite type of lip color to wear. This is very sheer. These are very comfortable. We have a little baby charlotte tilbury lipstick i mean this i want to finish because it's it's a baby uh this is pillow talk of course i think it's hilarious that these are all the same color two tower 28 glosses we have cashew and coconut and i would love to finish both of these if possible so i don't know how long that will take or if that's even remotely possible but that's the goal is to finish these and the same goes for the hourglass uh unreal lip gloss. This is in the color Sublime. This, I really loved this color specifically when I got this. It's a little like peachy now. I do love this lip gloss formula. Freaking expensive. And then the oldie Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow. I have a mini of this that looks more orange. Look at how orange this looks. This is also Fenty Glow. Gloss balm, 
gloss on. I don't know. They, they've changed the color, I'm certain. This is not brand new, but it's it's not it's been laying down so there's no line you can see but this is such a pretty gloss and i do like this gloss formula oh and i smell like cherries so that is everything that i want to put a dent in i might put some of these in some project pans that i'm going to be doing through the year i might remove some things if i use it a few times and decide i don't like it i i'm not committed to finishing a product that i hate i, I just I don't see the point. So we'll see. A lot of lip products because I have a lot of lip products and that's the, the product that I wear the least. So I have a lot of lip products to try to work through. But I also really want to see how long, uh, what kind of progress I can make on a blush. That would be so satisfying. If you guys are doing any projects like this, let me know what you've chosen to work on for the year. Is this your year of using things or are you still just collecting, collecting? I feel like there's there's like a, sh like a mindset shift happening. Um, at least with a lot of the people that I watch. And it's just, I mean, it's all cyclical. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Anything that I can link will be listed and linked in the description box. If you do use any of those links, they are affiliated and I do earn a small commission from those links. Thank you so much. I will talk to you in my next video.